All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and in today's video, we're talking about a bit of a hot topic, and that topic is, are the Grandmasters inside Destiny 2 too difficult? A lot of people have expressed this opinion, especially because Grandmasters just came out, and a lot of people weren't properly leveled enough to enter into the Grandmasters. But because a lot of people felt like they weren't properly leveled enough, they felt like the Grandmasters were inaccessible to them. And I mean, hey, when you pay for the seasonal content, you feel like you should have access to the entirety of the content. I totally get that sentiment, but I'm also a big believer that there has to be aspirational content to reach for. And that is also very closely tied to endgame content for Destiny 2. The structure basically applies that there's the entry level content, like for example, in Crucible, you've got Clash, Control, and then you work your way up to do Rumble. And then from working your way up to Rumble, and then from working your way up to Rumble, you enter into Iron Banner. After playing Iron Banner for a little bit, maybe you play Comp, try to hit 5,500. And then at the very top of the PvP endgame is the Trials of Osiris, the most difficult endgame content in the PvP side. And parallel to that, the PvE side, you've got the Story Missions, you've got Strikes, and then you have the Nightfalls. And each Nightfall has varying degrees of difficulty, leading up to the very top, which is Grandmasters. But just before the Grandmasters, I would say that the Raids are one tier below the Grandmasters in terms of difficulty. Because truly speaking, the Grandmasters are the endgame endgame most difficult PvE content in the game currently. And not everyone is going to be able to beat this level of content because it is very, very difficult. It's difficult to get properly leveled in time. And even if you are properly leveled, it's very difficult to beat these. A viral Reddit post that's not even a day old already has 3,600 upvotes and it says this, not everything in this game should be achievable by everyone and that's okay. This is in regards to people saying GMs lock the best loot behind super difficult content. I personally don't see this as a bad thing. Nightfalls, especially GMs, have lacked loot incentive for a while, so adding cool guns isn't bad. I strongly agree. I've been doing Grandmasters for several seasons now, and the loot was terrible before. This is the first season where the loot is actually really good. Getting adept versions of weapons is amazing. On to the next part. I really don't understand. Adepts aren't some big step up from normal. They can just slot a slightly better mod so people aren't missing out on much. But now even YouTubers are saying how it isn't accessible enough. In my opinion, it is accessible enough. You just have to work to get there. And with that work being trimmed down next season, I see no reason why we need to make it more accessible. The point he's trying to make is that the seasonal power cap is usually lifted by, I think, 50. Starting next season, they're going to be raising it by 10. So it's going to be much easier and much more accessible to get to that Grandmaster power cap when it does release next season. The last part he says, I don't know, maybe I'm missing something, but I believe the best loot should be behind the best content. And I have to agree with this post. I really think that we need to have aspirational content. We need to have extremely difficult content in the game. And when you beat it, you should be rewarded well enough that it feels like it's worth your time investment to beat that extremely difficult content. But at the same time, they shouldn't lock those extremely strong weapons behind the most difficult content, which they don't. You can actually acquire all the Nightfall weapons, just the unadept versions, by doing the regular Nightfalls. And being completely honest, if you get a god roll of the non-adept version, that's still a really good weapon. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think that Grandmasters are too difficult this season? Were you properly leveled enough to beat one already, or have you not been able to take on the challenge? The debate goes on, and if you want to stay up to date on all the news in Destiny 2, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Later. Subscribe to Lucky 10P and smash that motherfucking like button and check out my second channel too Lucky 10P Shorts Link in bio